There we go. Hey, it's rolling. Hey everybody, this is Evan and Max Lloyd. And if you guys have seen any of our old camping videos, this guy's getting big, huh? How old are you now? I'm 11 and I'm 5'1". 11 going on 19, oh yeah. Okay, so I just got back from San Diego and wanted to do a quick update for you. Tried out the foil mount, which is uh, from the last three videos, we got the stick on foil mount and uh, did three sessions. Uh, waves were chest high with head high sets. Um, today it was a little I bit no smaller. That means. Yeah, that means the waves were like, like, well, let's see if we can do this with one hand. It means like the waves were this high to this high, but some of the waves were about this high. Uh, yeet. Right? But today the waves were only about this high. Anyway, uh, San Onofre, and uh, I just wanted to show you the board. I didn't get any GoPro footage because I brought the wrong paddle and I didn't have my mount, so the GoPro had to sit in the car. But here is what the board looks like you after. Could have held it. You could have held it. We already we already tried that once and lost it. Uh, here is the board after three sessions in somewhat marginal surf. You can see that it's still locked down real good, not going anywhere. What's also cool is the glass all around it is tight. That's what I was afraid of, like the glass was gonna like bubble or pull off. So, so far so good. You can see the original uh, carbon fiber underneath there. So this is actually sitting on a carbon fiber patch that came with the Kalama board. And uh, yeah. So my first impressions were the, the added height um, certainly helped with riding waves. I didn't breach one time. So getting a few more inches, uh, maybe, you know, maybe size does matter, but it definitely made it more uh, an exciting experience. Um, it did take a session or two just to get comfortable to where then I could surf aggressively. Is that my microphone? Yeah. And then ladies and gentlemen, after that, I started feeling really good about things. Okay, I have another question. What's that? Oh, this is the, uh, that's a good question. So there's the, I did use the, little offset plate and there's the foil. So does this connect onto this? Yes. Fun say. Yeah, that's how that works. I like that sticker on this. It's nice, yeah. Okay, so anyway, um, it did take some getting used to. Once I got used to it, it was a lot of fun. I'm still gonna play with the positioning and the angle a little bit to see if I can make it I want to find out where it's what position it's the most playful in um, but big improvement definitely the one thing I didn't account for uh, and it was kind of shocking is the it adds a lot of weight it absolutely adds a lot of weight to the tail um, not so much let me flip back it's not so much this because this is all carbon fiber but when you add the bolts the plates and then this freaking thing this is metal Okay, this is made out of metal. That's not carbon. That's like aluminum of, or I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's heavy. So if you're talking, so this metal, so this foil originally was like what? Yeah. Five pounds? Yeah, now it's like at least a couple, I would say two pounds heavier. Yeah, so this is two pounds heavier. And for surf reasons, that sucks. Yeah. Well, and I know. I didn't really notice it. Um, I, I did notice that there, it, a little heavier paddling it but that could just be my head um subjective stuff like that i'm not really big into like telling you it's this way or that way because i don't know if you'll notice a difference or not but i felt like i did That's but carrying the board into the water and out of the water you definitely the tail was a lot heavier the balance had shifted yeah. um so just be mindful that it's going to add a little bit of weight so that's it for this video but i did want to show you you know i got to get in on all the hot trends like everybody else and uh i have filmed myself doing this for probably the last three weeks I've had it now starting to get some good footage and should be uh should be fun you know I'm in Arizona and we don't have a ton of wind and so the idea is can I foil in Arizona with the amount of wind that we have I have gotten it up on foil it hasn't been like the other videos you see where the guys are cruising around and having fun and getting air like I get on foil for like 10 seconds and I'm like whoa and that's happened like four times so definitely need uh more wind anyone who tells you you can fly one of these at four uh at uh 
you know, four to 10 miles an hour is nuts. You can kind of maybe do it on a big old SUP, but you're not getting this thing up in foil. I'm thinking you need 15 mile an hour plus to even consider getting this up. But I don't want to get into all that. I just want to show you previews of things to come. Let you know that we are excited about making more videos. This guy, you can do. this guy is learning to stand up paddle. He's had his first, uh, his first, you know, paddle strokes out and on I, the water. And I got lost like twice. The wind took him down, and we had to bring him back. But that's okay. So actually, what happened was I was like, I was just doing my thing. And then I didn't notice that I was getting like, I was like a half a mile offshore. And then my mom swims out and she's got a hurt ankle, drags me back. And then dad tells me, just swim, just go left. I go left and out. So I'm another half a mile back and then dad hits me and comes back. Wait, you better just tell him what hits so, you means. Cause so I, didn't, he, I didn't hit you. He paddled out. I and then hit he, him in the face. He paddled out and then he doinked me. Causing me to go back to shore. Oh yeah, pushed him. Push him. Tough push, love! Pushed him, doinked him, they're both the same All right. thing. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We have a lot of fun making this stuff. You know, I have a day job and I don't do this for a living and I don't <laughs> care to. And I'm not a YouTube guy. And do you know what I paid for that, Max? Can you not <laughs> chuck it over the side? All right, but anyway, just letting you guys know that we have fun watching you uh, progress. <laughs> We have fun getting your comments and telling us about how you guys are doing with all this stuff. We're just we're just a bunch of weekend warriors having a good time and this guy, <laughs> this guy. So, all right. Awesome. See ya.